For .NET developers using Adobe Flush, one of the most powerful features of Amethyst is its ability to debug across both platforms in a single debugging session. This means you can set breakpoints and watch variables and use the other debugging tools in both your .NET application and in a Flash, Flex or ActionScript program and you can debug from one right into the other and back again. I'm Hugh Collingborn, Director of Technology with Sapphire Steel Software. In this video I want to show you a very simple example to explain how to do this in your own applications. The source code of this example can be downloaded from the Sapphire Steel Software website if you'd like to follow along. Here I've created a solution that contains two projects. One is a simple Windows Forms project written in C-sharp. The other is a Flex 4 project written in ActionScript. The Flex 4 project builds an SWF that contains a button and a text area. The SWF is placed onto the .NET application in the panel at the bottom of this form. I've done this by creating an AX Shockwave Flash object in C Sharp. I'm not going to discuss the coding techniques in any depth here. There are various ways in which .NET and Flash can communicate and in this sample project I try to keep things simple. My aim is to be able to click a button on the .NET form and send data from .NET to Flex and have it displayed in the text area in the SWF. My .NET code creates a string to contain XML formatted data. The string also contains the name of my ActionScript function, exec command, which will receive the data. So when I click a button, it will pass this string to the Flash program. In my Flex project, I create a function with the same name, exec command, and provide it with two arguments to match the two data items which will be sent to it. I also add this external interface callback to my function. And OK, now I'm ready to start. In my C Sharp project, I'll put a breakpoint here. This executes when the Flash program is initialized from my .NET application and another one here which is where the string is created and sent to Flash. In my Flex application I put a breakpoint here which is where the data sent from .NET is received. I select the Debug Demo Amethyst project in the Solution Explorer. From the Debug menu I select Listen Amethyst is now put into listening mode to listen for SWF debugging messages. I right-click the test c -sharp project and select Debug Start New Instance. This executes the .NET program. I click the Start Debug Demo button and right away I hit a breakpoint in my c -sharp code. And now I can debug away to my heart's content. But to save time for now I'll just carry on by pressing F5 to continue. And notice in the form that my SWF is embedded down at the bottom. So now I click send command to flash and again I hit a breakpoint in C sharp and I can see the string that's going to be sent to flash. And again I press F5 to continue. But this time I hit a breakpoint in my flex program. This is action script, not C sharp. So here I am inside the function that receives the data sent from C Sharp to Flash and I can debug by hovering over identifiers or examining items in the Watch and Autos windows. And of course in a real debugging session I would now be able to use the full set of Amethyst debugging tools and these are explained in other tutorials. So that in its simplest form is an example of how to use Amethyst to debug in .NET and in Flash simultaneously. And for more information and tutorials on the Amethyst Debugger, Visual Designer and Code Editor, go to the Sapphire Steel Software website at www.sapphiresteel.com.